So let's say, for example, you have private folders on your computer and you don't want other people to access that stuff and you are running a Windows 11 computer, which you can check by going to your settings, heading on over to system, scrolling down to about, and then as you can see, Windows 11 Pro. So this video would be for you. I'll be showcasing two methods on how to secure your files and how to encrypt your stuff. The first is a very simple method and it involves Windows itself. You don't have to install any other apps. You just want to find the folder you want to encrypt. I have one right here. You want to right click on it, click on properties. You want to go on over to advanced and encrypt contents to secure data. Click on OK. Click on apply and this should show up. You have an option to apply changes to just the folder or you can do it for subfolders and files that are inside the folder as well. I'm just going to select the first one and click on OK. You'll get this option, right? This notification. You just want to click on that and you want to click on Backup Now. It'll take you over to the Certificate Export Wizard. You just want to click on Next. You want to click on Next again and set a password that suits you. I'm just going to set a generic one. I don't really need an important password but you want to remember this this is important you click on next just name the file we'll name it um just name it top secret next and finish and as you can see now there's a lock you can access your folder as you can see here there is a lock there you can access your own folder it's fine but other users on your computer like say for example i go here um my account i'm logged into this account as a user this would not show up on other people's computers. If they tried to open this file, it would ask them to input a password. So we've successfully prevented that. But for say, um, someone has managed to log on to your account, as I have here, they will definitely be able to access your passwords, um, your folder, I mean, um, there's no password there. So the second method will deal with that. Let's say you're not contempt with just that. You want to hide, um, your files, you want to encrypt them even on your own computer and you want to have a password for whenever you want to access it. And to do that, you're going to, you're going to have to install external software. You want to head on over to your search bar, type in Microsoft Store, it's like that, open it up. I just want to search folder lock, it's like I have here. And you'll see Wise Folder Hider. You want to install this application and I've used this before, it's quite simple to understand. Um, after you're, you've installed it, you just want to open it, click on yes, and it'll ask you to enter a password. I've already made a password, a very generic one. It'll ask you to make one. And once you've done that, you'll get this window right here, same as the one I have here. And it'll allow you to hide a file. So let's say I want to hide this folder. You just want to click on it. You just want to drag it over, and boom, it's gone. It's hidden. And if you want to open it, you can set a password. Right, like say for example, I close this, files are nowhere visible, can't open it. I'd have to open Wise Folder Hider. Again, just click on yes, and you'll have to enter your password. You log in, and then you'll be able to open it. So I click on open, and it'll let you open your files. And the second you close it, it'll go from visible to hidden. The second you close out, it'll disappear again, right? So that's how it works. That's Wise Folder Hider for you. You can also um, set a separate password for this. So you can click on Set Password. You can set a different password. So I can just something like that. Click on OK. And now, as you can see, there's a password set. So every time I want to open it, I have to put in a password. I'm oh, sorry, that's the wrong one. There you go. And now I can open it. So you can also obviously change password so that it's nothing. You can make it so that um, uh, you can unhide this folder. You just click on unhide and it'll be out of here now. So I have access to my file again, even though I have closed Wise Folder Hider. So that would be how that works. You can set passwords. You can hide your files from people that may have access to your, your user account. And um, I hope this video has proven useful to you guys. Uh, I hope you're having fun encrypting your folders and hiding it from people. Obviously, security is of highest priority. And I will see you guys a different time.